Ghana has one of the highest percentage of forest cover in the world. An estimated 80% of the country is covered in forest. The forestry sector is also one of the traditional contributors to the country's gross domestic product. On this Info Hub Extended, we highlight the recently held Ghana Timber Expo 2018, which showcased the full range of products that come out of the sector and the process that lead up to those products. <laughs> The taxes we pay provide revenue for the government to use to develop and improve our country's infrastructure and the life of all Guyanese. If we pay our taxes, the government will be able to build more roads, schools, hospitals, bridges and other government facilities. The government will also be able to use those funds to pay better wages and salaries to public servants and to improve government services. This will help to attract more investors to our country, create jobs and reduce poverty. Let's invest in our country. Pay your taxes. A message from the Ministry of Finance and the Guyana Revenue Authority. The future of Guyana has never looked better. Our nation is on the cusp of a development program like never seen before. While Guyana is now emerging as an energy giant through the discovery of massive reserves of oil and natural gas, it is your government's intention that the huge benefits emerging from this will go where it matters most to you, the people of this beloved country. There is a surge of confidence in the way Guyana is governed once again, and the level of investor interest is unprecedented. Guyana is poised to become the breadbasket of the region, and the pace at which this nation will grow through prudent fiscal management will be nothing short of impressive. But more than anything else will be the way every Guyanese regardless of color, class, or creed, becomes a part of this historic period of national transformation, sharing in the wealth and well-being of it all as one Guyana. Guyana Timber Expo 2018 was held from May 18 to 20 at the National Stadium Tarmac. The exposition, which was hosted by the Guyana Forestry Commission, aim to expand the Guyanese market through public education, awareness and sensitization to promote a greener Guyana. Highlighting value-added timber products was one of the achievements of the Timber Expo. At the end of the fourth quarter of 2018, the sector raked in U.S. $7.4 million from exports. However, little of that was value-added production. Minister of Business Dominic Gaskin at the Timber Expo's opening called for greater value-added production. I know for a fact that we can earn a lot more if we were to export a greater proportion of that wood in value-added products. Chair of the Board of the Guyana Forestry Commission, Jocelyn Dow, notes the push for a more sustainable use of the forest beyond lumbering. If you look at what we produce in term of, terms of ecosystem services, why is we produce this bountiful amount of lumber? It is to the sum of about 35 million US dollars per year to our Norway agreement, our carbon offset agreement. So I want to say to you that the forest is in fact doing very well. 30 exhibitors from sawmillers, lumberyard dealers, value-added producers, exporters and government agencies participated in this year's expo. Owner of Amazon Authentics, Irene Bacchus Holder, said the Timber Expo represented the wider use of forest products beyond planing of wood. The public is now um, made aware of what is produced with Guyana local species. Right? People think that, okay, you just build a house with wood, but there are so many more that you can do with wood species. Um, in Guyana, we take wood for granted, but... The rest of the world, it's a prized object. Managing Director of Eco Woods, Nizam Amirali, was pleased with the exposure to the downstream production within the forestry sector at the event. I think the emphasis over the decades has been for the primary production, which is logging and sawmilling. And I've seen some serious efforts are being made to facilitate the downstream or value-added production. We have to continue to have the government continued cooperation, that is, 
in setting a premise for the downstream to prosper. And it will take off, in my opinion. NDS Furniture Store has been adding value to timber for more than 20 years, sales and marketing manager Natasha Mahadio said. And our main thing is manufacturing local furniture with local woods, employing locals. Right, so that's it. You we, we give you all the high end and all the beautiful designs that you see from the overseas furniture, but in better quality. NDS furniture manufacture and retail their products locally. Mahadio noted visitors to the expo were impressed by Guyanese skills. I enjoy seeing that that shocked, that impressed look on their face because first of all, look look at the, look at the we have such abilities, we have such skill. Guyanese people are very very skilled and this is a result of it. I think that they're very happy as well that they can come to one place and see so many different companies offering so many different things that are local. The Timber Expo also promoted the use of lesser known species. The Forest Products Development and Marketing Council of Guyana has been leading this promotion both locally and overseas. Guyana has more than a thousand species of timber but only a handful is commonly used locally and shipped internationally. Marketing officer at the FPDMC, Teresa Madre, said the GFC has been aggressively promoting the lesser used species. We would have had numerous seminars on the lesser used species and what we've done, we've worked in collaboration with the Central Housing and Planning with their building projects. We would have been introducing our lesser use species with them and working in collaboration to move and promote our lesser use species in timber building. Sawmillers at the Timber Expo demonstrated their techniques and the lesser use species they sell. Jetu's lumberyard and sawmill has been in the industry for the past 40 years. Forest manager Dave Nanmadu says the company is adding value using lesser used species. The lesser use species we use it to like make um I would do a boardwalk, boardwalk, right? You promote the the, um, the suya, the ulu, molin, trimmings, right? To for interior use, and also to make furniture, like you know, chairs, tables, and also doors. Madu said the expo has successfully promoted the versatility of lesser used species of wood. Uh, they were amazed that they only thought that you know they could have used green heart, purple heart, or you know, kabakali. Right? They didn't actually really, uh, didn't know that, you know, the lesser known species could be used for the same purpose as the green heart and uh, the crop plant and copper. A marketing representative of A Forester Lumber Yard, Jamal, also touted the versatility of the lesser used species. They can be used just like regular hardwood. They're well treated and they're safe to be used. And this is something I think we should look into more. There are wood as good as green heart and copper and so on, which are not so common. So we're trying to bring that on the market a lot more. And this expo helped that in a great way. Exhibitors have lauded the Ghana Timber Expo for providing a one-stop shop to promote their services to the local market. Guyana Timber Expo 2018 was also an opportunity to promote timber products to the Guyanese market. Balkan Timber Works Inc. trades primarily in the international market. Managing Director Howard Balkan said the company participated in the Timber Expo to expand its local market. By and large... <laughs> We, we're pleased with the, with, with, the, with the crowd, you know. We've got the exposure, I believe, that we were looking for. We're hoping that this thing can be a yearly thing and um, to educate Guyanese that what, what, what is available here, you know. First-time exhibitor Ragnar Sukram of R.L. Sukram & Sons Sawmill and Lumberyard also lauded the expo. We really appreciate and we like how everything goes so far. The Timber Expo was also used to launch new businesses. Exotic Wood Products was debuted at the expo. Founder Ron Pillays explains what the company does. So what we're trying to do is utilize more of a tree when we throw it down in the forest. So we're trying to take all the faults in the tree and convert it into a product. And then it's, it's a unique product in the sense that each piece is different from the other. So when we put a piece of furniture into the house of, of anybody, we guarantee that it's the only piece like it in the world. CEO of Florid, Andre Cummins, said the expo was a fantastic experience. I think it was extremely, extremely successful. It was informational. People get to understand the, the benefits of flooring, especially the lesser, uh, lesser used species in Guyana. And they get to, to see that the, the Guyanese companies can really match the international standards and products. And even in some of the properties, they're more superior to the imported substitutes. 
CEO of Go Invest, Arwin Verwe, said the agency has been working closely with the GFC to ensure that there is market for Guyana's timber products. Verwe added the Timber Expo seeks to build Guyana's brand. The ultimate objective here is to build a brand, an event that is a brand that will go into the long term so that every year um, the, the, the sector and the foreign markets can look forward to this event and as it evolves and it gets better. Go Invest is a partner with the GFC in Guyana Timber Expo 2018. Chair of GFC's board, Jocelyn Dow, concludes the Guyana Timber Expo 2018 has provided a better understanding of all the inputs into developing Guyana's timber products. And we will have to um, work along with the Guyana Manufacturing Association, the Bureau of Standards, Central Housing and Planning, and the Forest Products Association to make sure that we are able to give our expertise um, at, in a timely way, that's the point, to people who are in the process of either producing products or building homes. Roundabouts. Approaching a roundabout. When you approach a roundabout, you must use your indicator if you intend to turn left or right or make a U-turn at the roundabout. You must give other road users sufficient notice of your intent to turn. Entering a roundabout. When entering a roundabout, you must slow or stop to give way to any vehicle already in the roundabout. You must also continue to use your indicators if you intend to turn left or right or make a U-turn. Turning left. When turning left, you must indicate left on approach and be travelling in the left-hand lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Stay in the left lane and exit in the left lane. Turning right. When turning right, you must indicate right on approach and be travelling in the right-hand lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Making a U-turn. When using a roundabout to make a U-turn, you must approach in the right lane and signal right. Changing lanes in a roundabout. Drivers may change lanes in a roundabout if they wish. The usual road rules for changing lanes apply. You must use your indicator and give way to any vehicle in the lane you are entering. Going straight ahead. You don't need to signal when approaching the roundabout if you are going straight ahead. You may approach the roundabout from either the left or right lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Exiting a roundabout. As when you exit a road, you must signal left when leaving a roundabout, if it is practical to do so, and you should stop indicating as soon as you have exited the roundabout. However, when you are travelling straight ahead on a small single lane roundabout, it may be impractical to indicate when exiting. The Guyana Timber Expo was an initiative that brought together both the private and public sectors in a collaboration that supports the country's national policy for a green state development, which seeks to create a green initiative, green innovative industries, infrastructure, decent employment and economic growth. This brings us to the end of another edition of InfoHub Extended. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.